Hi there, how are you today? Welcome to my channel, guys. This is Empathic Moon 777. I'm your tarot card reader, Durga Diana. I want to welcome you and I want to thank you uh, for coming to this reading. Uh, this is a collective reading, quick energy update for the Twin Flame Collective. You are in separation for healing purposes, 3D separation. And so this is what the reading is about. This is a quick reading. Um, the main energies on their own, uh, the Divine Masculine, Divine Feminine, and then relating to each other. So I'm going to talk about what the reading is first for the, um, the, the collective on their own. So this reading has to do with this energy of contemplation. Contemplation, thinking about something, going, um, taking some time out, reflecting, thinking about all of the different scenarios, the pros and the cons, what is the best action to take, should I take, should I move forward, should I move, you know, a few steps backwards. It's contemplating, it's really finding out um, through, you know, taking that um, time and taking that patience and really looking at uh, the best options. We have butterflies here. Um, there could be connection to transforming, um, you know, contemplating the transformation, um, how, how best this transformation can take place. And then we have the Knight of Swords here. Knight of Swords in reverse is something that's, um, it's something that's um, maybe something, something that uh, is not occurring. Like there is some kind of, you cannot do something there. Like it's, it's not happening. Like it's, there's an energy there where something is not happening. Okay. Um, so there's a contemplation here regarding this energy where something is not happening. All right. That's the best way that I could describe it. Something is not happening and there's a contemplation taking place. I'm going to clarify what this Knight of Swords is just, uh, just to see what that is. Can you clarify this Knight of Swords? Oh, wow okay so this came out so yeah so it's a contemplation uh, regarding nothing moving things are not moving um, in connection to this two of cups um, this is about harm harmony partnerships sharing mutually filled cups with each other which means self-love and sharing that um, yeah so this is on the own there so this is what this is about um yeah okay so let's get into the main energies here so masculine is in this energy his main energy is healing regarding this potential gateway all right so this is part of the contemplation um so on his own there's this gateway that he sees that could potentially happen this gateway is connected to something that is um, something that is beautiful. All right. This potential gateway is um, I'm getting here that it's part of his um, what he wants to create. Right. Um, but there's a healing energy that he feels that needs to take place. For this potential gateway and this potential gateway is um, regarding uh, walking away uh, from something that is no longer serving this masculine um, regarding a gratitude and appreciation so um, yeah okay so he feels like he needs to walk away from from something that's not serving him to um, be in this energy of gratitude and appreciation is what I'm getting here. All right. So I'm getting here that this masculine is emotionally not feeling fulfilled and 
he feels like he needs to walk away from something. Let's see what this walking away is having to do with. Angels, helpers, and spirit. What is this walking away regarding? Eight of Cups. Okay. So this is having to do with feeling guarded, standing your ground. Okay. Um, okay. So this masculine's feeling guarded. He's feeling like he needs to stand his ground. And he wants to walk away where he feels this energy because it's unfulfilling for him. And he wants to be in this energy of gratitude and appreciation. And it's he feels like it's going to need to take uh, healing in connection to this uh, potential gateway that, is, that he is um, seeing um, as he's contemplating um, what is uh, missing or what is not working uh, with this harmony, with this partnerships, um, with this equally uh, sharing love, right? So this is on his own, okay? And um, let's see um, what the Divine Feminine's energy is. We have ideal course of action. So she's her main energy on her home, own is she's looking um, for the best way. So there's this contemplation here. It seems like both masculine and feminine here are looking towards um some type of new way that's what i'm getting here the feminine here is looking for the course of action um so this is something more like a movement energy than with the masculine is seeing some type of potential uh here there's some kind of movement so i'm getting here divine feminine uh, wants to make some kind of movement and she's she she is going to make a movement but she's looking for the best course of action and um, there is some fears and illusions right now connected to um, this course of action right now so things may be not being seen very clearly things might be seem a little bit dark and um, it may be, you know, causing some type of fears or some type of illusions regarding this ideal course of action. This course of action has to do with a culmination and a vision. So she's, she's in this energy where she's, you know, finished something. She's completed something and she, she wants to um, move forward. She wants to move forward. And this culmination of vision is regarding this equal give and take, okay? So there's something going on where things are not, are, things are not very clear to her right now. Things might seem dark right now in connection to how, what the ideal course of action is for her at this time. But it's, she does want this um energy she does want to have um this equal give and take as part of the vision that she has okay so i'm going to keep going further here we're going to get into the energies related to each other women holding a coin so this is about a feminine energy you know being stable and grounded in the physical world having abundance, having, um, you know, um, money, resources, connections, um, you know, good business uh, partners and partnerships. And um, this is about good health and um, a good value, feeling worthy, feeling valued, feeling strong. Um, but there's an energy related to the Two of Pentacles disorganization, all right? There's some kind of disorganization or a need to reprioritize this energy here. So this is what the reading is about relating to each other. Divine Masculine's main energy towards the Divine Feminine is Angel of Balance. 
So his main energy is wanting to balance, balance this energy, balance the energy with this Queen of Cups energy. This could be the Divine Feminine. All right, so balancing this energy of the Queen of Cups and this indecision with turning the wheel, all right, turning the wheel, um, you know, moving the wheel of karma in the direction of, you know, goodness, um, happiness. Um, so he's wanting to balance the indecision, okay? He sees you as the Queen of Cups right now. He sees you in your heart space. And he wants to move forward with this indecision, all right? And this has to do with this uh, reprioritizing reprior re this uh, woman of worth, this woman of value, okay? Divine Feminine's main energy towards the masculine is that the world in reverse here. So we have the world in reverse. Number 29 is number 11. And uh, this world is about expansion and opening up but when it's in reverse it means that there's some kind of limiting views there's something very limited in in the view maybe something is being thought of too narrowly uh, in terms of options for action or what you feel you deserve there's some kind of narrow thinking or beliefs all right there could be some kind of boxing being boxed in old ways of thinking or doing things as well all right so this is about creativity like opening up to creativity there's something being constricted and something that is um like yeah something is being restricted like it's not having enough space to allow the creativity to flow so this is having to do with something about how something is being invested. So this, how something is being invested, this is the energy where this energy is, is, is looked upon very narrowly. This is her main energy towards the masculine. And it's connected to the conflict, all right? People may be involved with this conflict, competition, other people quarreling and fighting, all right? Um, you know, people not really loving each other. Um, so there's some quarreling here. There's some competition. There's some conflict. It's from passion. And so this passion here is conflict is connected to the women holding a heart so this is the feminine right divine feminine here in the heart space we have her in the heart space here so here she is again in the heart space she's holding her heart um so this feminine you know is definitely having a lot of love she holds that love she 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 will give that love um there's an abundance there with 44 but there is some type of uh, conflict here. Other people are maybe getting in the way with this the feminine uh, and her heart and the love that she has, all right? And there's some kind of narrow thinking when it comes to how this is being invested, all right? So that's the main energy, um, what's going on towards the divine feminine towards the masculine and this has to do with a reprior reprioritizing this energy of the the feminine the healthy feminine the wealthy feminine the um grounded and stable 3d feminine all right so that's what's coming through today let me know if this resonates by liking commenting sharing or subscribing i forgot to tell you um, I asked Spirit what was the message that um, they want to tell you in this reading. What is the message here? What is the what is the message? So they want to let you know this from this collective reading here. They're saying to observe in silence. Okay, so whatever it is, there's this contemplation here. They're saying to observe in silence 
and I feel like this I'm getting high priestess vibes from here so um, observing in silence all right so this could also be about meditation all right contemplation take it how it applies but this was the message that wanted to come through observing in silence all right so let me know if this resonates by liking commenting sharing or subscribing